I'm constantly like working, I guess. But uh, even when I try not to work, like if I'm walking down the street, I'm like, oh, this would be good to shoot a scene over here. It was like I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's like that may not be healthy, <laughs> but I, I just I just do it like that. Uh, my name is Brian Storm from San Francisco, and I'm a video director. The kind of work I do is multimedia. I deal with um, a lot of different clients, uh, musicians, um, small business owners, and I basically uh, give them like a visual product to promote themselves. My, my inspirations of filmmaking started off with me and my brother uh, running around with like a handy cam in our backyard, and we would just film like everything and anything, dunking on the dip cord and just like up in a wash house or just riding bikes, hitting wheelies. It, it was fun and like it's, it started off as like just trying to document like you know us growing up. Well, I was born in Hunters Point, Hunters Point Geneva Towers, and I came up here when I was like ten. I pretty much been living in Diamond Heights for most of my most of my life. One thing I like to see change in the community. When you're like what, four to ten years old, they have activities, they have things for you to do. They have a rec center, they have bake sales. They have all that, but after that, it's, it's just like ain't nothing else for you know the young people to do. They just like hanging out in the in the corner, in the alley, whatever, smoking or just kind of like wasting their life away. They don't know what what's the next step. CYMC, that's where I pretty much learned a big chunk of like my filmmaking experience. They put me in like internships with top of the line editors and um, worked on like a lot of commercial sets. I didn't really mind the labor because like I was so fascinated. I didn't really care what I had to do to, you know, produce it. I did a film called A Choice of Weapon uh, with CYMC. We had a topic called How I See It, and we had to talk about how we see certain issues in our community. And our story was about all the toxic waste that's being dug up and uh, the gentrification and how, like, a lot of people are being kicked out of their communities and they don't really know what's going on. So we wanted to educate all of San Francisco, everybody as well as people inside the community. I started my own company. I mean, Dream Chase is just a name, but it's really just like for people that love doing what they do. Just, just finding people like that, that are like really serious and doing the same things that you're doing, like, and people that have like honesty and integrity is the kind of people that you want to team up with. We're basically based San Francisco, East Bay, and we uh, do music videos, commercials, provide like a a visual to like all these artists because there's a lot of artists in the Bay Area. People that, that I cherish working with the most are upcomers. Uh, people like YT Flintstone, Mo Green, uh, Willie Joe. Like those people, like the hunger that they have, like inspires me because like they're really making something out of nothing, and they're trying to like use all the resources that they have around them, and it inspires me to do the same. And it goes back to respect. Like, I was shooting a video yesterday. Sometimes, you know, as a guerrilla filmmaker, you just want to get in there and get it done. And sometimes, like, talking to people and acknowledging them gives you, like, a lot more leeway and a lot more opportunity, like, what you can do. Just the other day, I was shooting a video with La Rue, Turf Talk, and E40. Uh, it was, like, probably one of the biggest videos that I, I was shot. Uh, E40 is, like, the biggest artist in the Bay. Uh, that, that's gonna look good on my resume. Uh, just, just uh, meeting him, and you know, I, I'm a fan first with this. So, just I, I just really felt honored to be working with E40 at such like an early stage of my career. I, I use Final Cut Pro, Cinema Tools, uh, iMovie. I edit movies on my iPod, uh, and then I shoot like a lot of stuff uh, on on the Canon 7D. And uh, just the whole workflow of like the new DSLRs is like a lot faster, a lot more convenient, uh, discreet, and quicker, you know? So I can like hurry up and boom, just get the idea and get the shot that I want. What separates me from everybody else, I'm not really trying to be in a race. I just love doing what I'm doing, so I'm going at the pace that I want to go. I ultimately want to become uh, as successful at what I do. I don't have like a seat that I'm trying to reach, but um, just the things that motivate me and the things I see need action, I act towards those. Shouts out to the man upstairs, you know, and um, Dream Chaser Films, uh, CYMC. Uh, just, just basically, just shout out to everybody chasing their dreams.